Welcome to the On Deck Podcast presented by Line Star, your top MLB player prop bets for today, plus home run calls of the day. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. We've got some great picks for you today and home run calls, as always, using that Props AI tool on the Line Star app to help us find the best value. Now, yesterday, not our best day in the prop market, just 0 and 2 on our main picks. So close, though. I feel like we were kind of on the right track. Tristan Casas, the well run has run dry on him he was 0 for 3 and then my pick Addison Barger had a double we should have taken him over one and a half bases because that would have cashed but he just had one uh hit for the under one and a half hits runs RBIs there so today we're trying to get back after it it is thirsty Thursday so we're trying to go out there we win a little beverage money for ourselves, although it is a tougher slate today. Just four games to choose from. We're focusing on the night slate to give you plenty of time to be able to put in your entry, whether you're playing on Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Chalkboard, Parlay Play. Remember to use that promo code LINESTAR so you can get up to a $250 deposit match on some of those sites. Plus, you'll also get one free month of LINESTAR if you make sure to that you are a new user and you also bet at least a dollar on those sites so check those deals out when you get a chance Tyler I think the best thing of all yesterday though what well by the way I do have to you know pat myself on the back a little bit that Lawrence Butler home run call plus 360 Mm -hmm. was a nice one as well and I did mention I liked Brent Rucker too he also went yard yesterday Great American Ballpark was popping off yesterday that's for sure so we did we didn't not all was lost yesterday. Also, one of the best things I saw on the internet was, in fact, at the Dodgers game. Tyler, did you see Decoy, who is the dog of Shohei Otani, <laughs> deliver the first pitch like such a good boy? That was awesome. Yeah, that was, that was great. That was uh, the content I didn't know I needed. Of course, Shohei is an amazing pitcher. He can crank out home runs, and he can also train his dog to be such a good, well-behaved boy that can just deliver a first pitch like a champ. I mean, it's awesome. The guy is perfection. I love it. That that was just awesome. And I know you're not you're very anti Dodgers in general, but got a you know tip of the cap to him. Also, did you see the lines to get a Shohei Otani bobblehead yesterday? We're insane people. It's just a bobblehead. You can get it on eBay in a couple of days, probably. Would well, you see those? That was just it, wild. It was insane how many people were lining up and, you know, ready to wait all day just for that bobblehead. They were out there. It was a, I believe, like a 7 10 game or something. And people were out mm-hmm. in the morning at yeah, 11 a.m. People were literally there all day. All day for Crazy. a Shohei Otani bobblehead. That is some dedication uh, or I wonder how much those are going on eBay it might have been a financial investment as well I bet you those are are worth a pretty penny now if you're waiting in line for that much I surely hope so that your time was worth that but let's get into today's slate again four games on the slate Tyler what is your assessment of tonight's night slate for me didn't love it in terms of our prop bets what do you think uh, you know, there's a few that I like, but yeah, I agree. There's, I mean, it's a normal Thursday afternoon. There's yeah. games all day today and we don't have a ton to pick from, you know, for uh props. So limited uh, options gives us limited bets. All right. Well, let's get into it though and give out our best bets of the day. Where are you headed? Uh, before I do that, I did mm-hmm. just look up on eBay what bobbleheads are going oh, for this Shohei. Is the information that we need. Uh, two hundred and seventy-five bucks. So, it, eh, people essentially probably are. Yeah. I mean, people That's pretty much went of- to the game for free and got some money. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like it. It's not not really worth <laughs> wasting your entire day. Yeah, uh, I was I was betting it would be more like maybe 400, 500 if they, if you're doing an all day thing. Anyways, that's besides the point, though. Um, I mean, there's some crazy people that have it that just love bobbleheads for more. I do like a bobblehead. Like, we have one in the studio. It could have been I, us. I should have waited for a show. Hey, <laughs> I should have called off at work and said, yeah. "Sorry, we got to get some some show. Hey, the studio." <laughs> so, all right, into the uh, action. My uh, bet at this point, we're pretty much a broken record. 
but he's in a great spot once again. I'm going to Vlad Guerrero Jr. The guy is hitting 430 in the last week, 370 over the last month, and he hits 444 against Cutter Crawford. It's in mm-hmm. Fenway. Let's go back to Vlad Guerrero Jr. Yeah, I mean, can't go wrong there. Also, I didn't really check the weather at Fenway for today. Um, I'm doing that as we speak. It's fine. It's just fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's 66 degrees, a little bit of wind, but nothing much. Yeah, I was just like to check on that just in case there's wind blowing out. I was like, do I need to change my bet? But um, I still like Vladdy Guerrero. He's been pretty money for us, aside from yesterday when we took him over one and a half bases. And he just had one hit. Just a single for us, so didn't catch that one. But, I mean, for the most part, he's been pretty money. One of the highest OPSs in the month of August. So you can't go wrong with a Vladdy Daddy pick. And I am going to another guy who's pretty reliable in the prop market. We're going to a Dodgers bat in honor of Decoy the Dog. We're going to Mookie Betts, though. We're going over one and a half bases. This is actually a scorcher on Underdog Fantasy, so you'll get a little bit higher of a payout on this one. But if you wanted to play it safer, you could go with one and a half hits, runs, RBIs for this one. But Linesar's projection for Mookie's 2.1 bases While he's only been over this five of the last 10, he is a top 25% hitter against lefties. He is also top 15% uh, barreled balls over the last 14 days against lefties. And today he'll be facing Baltimore Southpaw, Cade Povich, who's got way worse splits versus right-handed bats. In fact, he's giving up two righty bats, a 294 average, 917 OPS, and ranks 291st against righties. Plus, the Baltimore bullpen has really struggled in the month of August. They rank 25th in ERA. And we've got some nice conditions at Dodger Stadium today, 72 degrees with an 8-mile-an-hour wind out to right center for today. So I like the spot for Mookie Betts, a lot of those righty bats on the Dodgers lineup. You can't go wrong with Shohei either. He's had a couple homers over the last week, and he seems to be – he had been a little bit streaky for me, Tyler, over the course of the last couple months, just in terms of when he's on, he's on. When he's off, he's way off. But I think you could go Shohei tonight too, even though it is a lefty bat against a lefty pitcher, which I don't love as much. That's kind of why I lean towards Mookie in this one. But, I mean, Shohei can do no wrong in my book, especially after – Uh, He proved that he was the best dog trainer in the world. That was awesome. (laughs) What do you think about Mookie Betts, though? I I like Mookie's spot. I almost picked him for a home run. I almost picked Shohei for a home run. I I think the Dodgers in general are in a pretty good spot today. All right. Well, I don't know if you have any bonus, but I've got one for you, so I'll throw it out. The other one that I was looking at, Another reliable bat, we're going Jordan Alvarez over one and a half bases, which is also a scorcher right now on Underdog Fantasy. Line Star's projection is 2.5 for Jordan. I mean, the guy had three home runs yesterday. It was four for four against the Phillies. Um, He's only been over this one and a half bases mark, though, three of the last 10. So proceed with caution here. He does have a 412 average over the last seven seven days, though. So you can rest assured that he's on a hot streak right now. And again, a lefty bat top 5% hitter against righties. Today, he's going up against Kansas City Royals righty Brady Singer, who has way worse splits versus lefty bats. In fact, he's also another pitcher giving up nearly a 300 opponent average to lefty bats. And then that Kansas City bullpen overall over the course of the season ranks 24th in ERA. So Jordan's in another good spot, another pretty reliable lefty bat with a lot of power. So that's kind of why I would lean over one and a half bases, you'll get a better payout, and chances are if he's making contact with the ball, it's going pretty far. So I like Jordan for over that one and a half bases mark as well. Any other bonus picks for us, or are we uh, resting with those three for the day? We're resting with them today. All right. Make sure if you'd like, check out that Props AI tool on the Line Star app to help you find the best value in the prop market and maybe find some other decent props. Also, if we missed out on any really good locks for today, drop them in the comments. We're all trying to help each other out and beat the books. So really appreciate that. Also, a comment will enter you into our daily prop bets contest. If we go two for two on our main picks, one randomly selected commenter will win $50, which we'll announce on the show tomorrow. And just a reminder, our picks for today, we're going Vladdy Daddy over one and a half bases and... Pairing that with Mookie Betts over one and a half bases as well, putting that on Underdog Fantasy. You could tail us there if you'd like. Again, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Chalkboard, Parlay Play. What are you going to do? You're going to use the promo code LINESTAR when you first download that so you can get a deposit match plus one free month of LINESTAR. Now it's time for Home Run Calls of the Day. Tyler, where are you headed for a dinger on this Thirsty Thursday? 
I'm going to go with a good old Schwarbaum. Kyle Schwarber plus 425 for a home run. He hits a home run on 7% of plate attempts against Charlie Morton. That is up from his typical 5.4% per plate attempt. He has a 315 ISO versus right-handed pitching over the last 20 games. And I think he's going to hit one out today against uh, good old Morton. So let's go Schwarbaum. Let's go for a shore bomb. Nice call there. Yesterday, Lawrence Butler cashed for me. So I'm trying to make it back to back today. So where am I headed? Teoscar Hernandez for a home run. The home run derby champ plus 390 for a bomb today. He's got 28 on the year, two over the past week. Righty, that's better against left-handed pitching. 298 ISO against lefties. And today he'll be facing Baltimore Southpaw, Cade Povich, giving up a 166 home run per nine rate. That's 19th highest among starting pitchers. Plus that Baltimore bullpen giving up a 174 home run per nine rate in the month of August. That ranks 28th in Major League Baseball. Plus, we've got really good conditions at Dodger Stadium today. Temps in the 70s, plus an eight mile an hour win out to center. Teoscar Hernandez is going to deliver a bomb. Hopefully, Tyler, he does it today and not tomorrow because that's been the trend with me lately is for the most part, players are hitting them the very following day like Teoscar Hernandez did earlier this week when I picked him on Tuesday. Of course, he has one yesterday. But Lawrence Butler... The uh, Oakland A's knew what time it was for a home run yesterday, delivering for us on those home run calls. Remember to check out that MLB Dinger Report if you haven't already on the Line Star app. It's an awesome tool that can help you dominate not just in your home run call bets, but also if you are playing in the prop market, you might as well just take the over on one and a half bases on the top hitters for uh, Line Star. So let's just take a look at the top five. Most likely to hit a bomb today, according to MLB Dinger Report on the Line Star app, pulling it up here. This is just the main slate at night. So just kind of a disclaimer there. We're just looking at those four night games, and it's going to be Shohei Otani, Rafael Devers, Mookie Betts, Jaron Duran, and Max Muncie. Those are your top five Rafael Devers. Wasn't in the lineup yesterday. A little concerning there, but if he is in the lineup, he's worth maybe putting in either to your DFS lineup or maybe a prop bet or two. He's uh, in a good position. He was yesterday, but unfortunately, he's still been out, I think, dealing with a shoulder injury. So those are our top five on the MLB Dinger Report. Good luck in all of your prop betting endeavors. Let's go cash some tickets today and uh, go out for Thirsty Thursday. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you next time.